Work in the past was about what you've done and what you can do. Work in the future will be about what you know, who you know, and how you learn. This is a great time to be looking forward. Many of you stand in front of extraordinary opportunity. Not only will you work within technical advancements such as automation, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, advanced materials, and space exploration, but you will also work in a more diverse world. You will travel. You will have no need to hoard resources. You will live in a more sustainable, equitable, global, connected society. I'm a member of the past, so I can tell you what it was like. In the past, in order to survive, you needed to have a job. Everything you did and learned was designed to help you get a job, keep a job, or get another job. People worked within one industry at a time, and all of their work was designed to show their ability to do the job. And this was never sustainable. I worked my entire career to be a professional technologist, eventually managing to reach the pinnacle of achievement in technology, becoming CIO. And then, well, that's pretty much it. Not much to go from there. CIO stands for Chief Information Officer, but the joke among CIOs is that it stands for career is over. <laughs> but actually, that's not all completely true. First, I worked my entire career to be a professional musician. I majored in jazz composition at the Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. I wrote songs, I managed artists, I managed studios, I had an independent record label. Then, I worked my entire career in developmental disabilities. I worked with developmentally disabled adults in residential programs. I managed group homes. I worked weekend respite. I managed entertainment programs. Then, I worked my entire career in technology. I had to completely start over for each of these pathways because in the past, Careers were a series of jobs, each job building upon the next, and you had to prove yourself to go to your next step. Now, careers are becoming a series of experiences and opportunities to add value and to share in that value. Most of you are members of the future. Let me tell you what that will be like. You can look forward to engaging in tough problems using an array of skills, technical, personal, social, creative, and intellectual. Your focus will not be to get a job. It will be to engage with problems and opportunities. Your ability to effectively engage with opportunities, working on diverse global teams on solutions that are impactful, sustainable, and equitable will make you extremely valuable. You won't work for a company or in an industry. You will work for yourself. You are your company. You will move from team to team, from opportunity to opportunity, from problem to problem. Being a member of the future will be a matter of what you know and don't know. This is one way you will be connected. Skills are important. Things like engineering, law, art, design are still valuable. However, those with a diverse array of skills will be as valuable as those with deep knowledge in specialized niches. 
It is combinations of skills which will make us most valuable. Music with user interfaces. Psychology with cybersecurity. Marketing with data science. Actually, that last one I threw in because my daughter is majoring in marketing and I'd like her to minor in computer science, so thank you for allowing me to throw that in. Here, being connected means you won't just know things. You will connect the things you know to other things you know, to the things that others know, and to things that you don't yet know. In other words, successfully translating problems into the right questions is the talent of the future. It will also be a matter of who you know. This is another way you will be connected. If I gave you a problem or a question and asked you to think about three people right now that you could work with on it, could you do that? Emerging technologies are providing us with a wide connectivity capability. The capacity to connect with people is no longer a limitation. The talent to connect quickly with the right other resources is what is key. We are moving from industries and companies and jobs where you might work with the same team on the same problems, eight hours a day, five days a week, for years and years, to real-time team formation, where teams are assembled by individuals like yourselves, who seek to turn problems into ideas, ideas into solutions, solutions into products and services, and those into profits, profits that you will share in all across multiple, global, distributed, and diverse teams. And just to blow your mind a little, not everyone on these teams will be human. The ability to add a bot or an algorithm or an AI onto a team will be a key ability. Finally, it will be a matter of how you learn. Think of that scene in the movie The Matrix where the character Trinity says, Tank, I need a pilot program for a 212 helicopter. Now, this is a fun, if important, concept. The ability to learn what you need, when you need it, will be more valuable than learning what you think you might need long before you could ever possibly need it. And from me having three careers so far to following generations being told they may have as many as a dozen distinct careers to what I believe will become no career at all, the capacity we will all need in the near future is a general set of skills, such as language, voice commands, communication, liberal arts and sciences, and self-management, and series of specializations such as software development, economic models, security protocols, equipment, and tools, the ability to access, internalize, and perform the skills of the moment is itself the skill of the connected workforce of the future. So get ready to thrive. You will have a new need structure that we members of the past may not understand. My generation and those before mine have looked derisively on each successive new generation's tendency toward distraction. A lack of intense focus on things that was critical in the work of the past if you didn't learn a thing properly, you could lose a limb, certainly lose a job. You could poison the environment, or worse. We valued focus and long-term dedication. We did not value games, or TikTok, 
or foregoing college or driver's licenses. While these characterizations are not even really accurate, it doesn't matter. With each generation, as a species, we have adapted to the opportunities presented by real-time, instant access to every piece of information from anywhere about anything. So look forward to a three-day work week, a five-hour work day, and a new problem and team every day. And there's no great problem with being a member of the past. Soon, if you blink, you will be one too. It doesn't mean you cannot thrive. So allow me to relieve you of the lifelong pressure to keep up. It can't be done. And this is also going away. Because what you know, who you know, and how you learn is not generational. It is universal. As members of the connected workforce of the future, your job is your knowledge, and your knowledge is your job. Thank you.